Okay. I want to talk about Tesla Model 3. It's on autopilot right now. And the car is driving by itself. I just have to hold the steering wheel sometimes because they want us to be safe. But right now, you can see my feet are not in the pedals. The car is changing lanes automatically. And it's using the signals because we are turning left. As you can see, the car is doing all by itself. The autopilot or FSD full self-driving is not 100% ready that's why the software is still on beta okay so here the car is telling me to apply a little bit of um, pressure on the steering wheel because the car wants to make sure that I'm paying attention on the road so the car is using the blinking or the signal because it's gonna turn right now it's waiting for the cars to pass and then it's just going to accelerate and get in the correct lane as you can see my, my hands are not doing anything and it's changing lanes when you see the blue line here on the screen in front of the car it means that the autopilot is engaged when you see this light the blue light that means that I had to put some pressure on the steering wheel to notify the car you know the computer system that yeah I am driving I am paying attention this is really good and we hope that uh, for the next year at the end of the next year this software is gonna be eventually 100% uh, ready for autonomous vehicles for Tesla of course um, other companies are trying to do the same but they are 10 years behind the technology that Tesla has right now this is amazing it's a safe uh, software and the car knows exactly the speed limit in the area 45 miles an hour and the max speed is 45 I can change that with scrolling down this button right here. I can adjust the speed, the max speed. Like I said, this is the future. Tesla is far, far away from other companies that are trying to develop self-driving vehicles. And the car is learning not just by um, the software, but it's also learning by um, using the cameras because the car has uh, three cameras on the front, two cameras on each side and the rear camera. So the car is aware of what's going on all around the vehicle. The car follows the, tra the traffic lights also the stop signs and uh, it's really good on um, what's the name runabout and also four way stops so the car knows what it's doing it's really good for the highway also in my next video will show you how the car navigates through the uh, highway through the traffic Alright guys, see you the next time. Bye bye.